going on guys it's Seabrev aka distance by design throwing you guys another Madden 16 video in this video I'll be showing you guys my top 100 run scheme um, this could be arguably the best run scheme in the game as far as strictly looking to run the ball and under center especially um, the formation we're looking at is called I form tackle over as far as I know, this formation is only in the Colts playbook and the Rams playbook. Um, but if you watch my free full ebook on the Colts playbook, then you'll have plenty of plays to go with this. <laughs> um, so we'll go into the substitutions first. Um, I like to put a slower halfback with trucking at fullback and a fast halfback at the halfback spot. So we'll put Frank Gore at fullback and Vic Ballard. Um, at halfback, I'm not sure if he's faster than Heron. I haven't looked. But anyway, that's the concept. And the cool part about this formation is you see there's a tackle where the number one tight end spot should be, and there's a tight end at left tackle. Um, and the reason this formation is so good, I'll show you guys. First of all, it has all the runs that are good this year. Um, fullback Dive Strong is insanely good this year. Um, ISO is pretty good. Power Row is the run audible. But HB Toss, I'm sure you guys know by now, Toss plays in this game are insane. And a Toss play out of a funky formation like this gets absolutely crazy. So we're going to come out and halfback Toss first. And I'll just show you what you should be looking for. Um, so basically with this formation, we have an overload to the right side of the field. So what this means is if your opponent base aligns, we're going to have numbers to the right side of the field because we're going to have more blockers than they do. If they don't, ba if they base align, yeah, if they baseline, we'll have numbers to the right. If they don't base align, their entire defense is going to be shifted to the right, and we're just going to flip this toss this way, and we're going to have numbers on the left because with toss plays this year and in this play, we're going to actually get two pulling blockers complete to the outside. So in this formation, you can see we have numbers on the right, uh, more numbers on the right than on the left. So we're just going to run the toss to the right, and for some reason it was having me cut up field <laughs> I'm sure you guys could see if I was able to get outside and obviously you'll probably be able to do this with someone faster than Vic Ballard but if I just get past that break point it's there so I'll run this a couple times here so again we have numbers on the right we're just gonna run the toss to the right and Vic Ballard is so slow holy cow <laughs> we're gonna back out and put Heron in cause that is not bueno Alright, not sure if Heron is fast either, either, but hopefully he is. Still numbers on the right, so we're just running the toss to the right. Obviously, you're going to want to come out and HP toss, first of all, but keep in mind that this is a dynamic running scheme, and thus you should be making adjustments based on your opponent's defensive adjustments throughout the game. So as you can see, we're getting, we're getting the corner almost every single time. Um... For at least three yards at least a lot of times you're gonna get a lot more than that here's an example where they base aligned uh, or they didn't base align so you just flip the toss to the left because obviously they've got no one out there and we just get an easy 15 yard gain um, this play is the heart and soul of this formation we got numbers to the right we just run to the right that's a look that I would actually audible to power row and that's what I want to get into next like if they're giving up the middle of the field or like off tackle the area of the field off tackle then just audible to power o take your yards the point of this formation is to run every single time <laughs> kill clock whatever you gotta do at the end of games um, so if they're giving up the area off tackle or kind of up the middle don't be afraid to audible to power o it's not gonna be a big game but it is gonna be yards um, like here I'll audible to power o get a nice quick six yards you can flip power row as well, but it's not that good. Um, here we have numbers on both sides, really, but we'll run it to the left. Um, that is not a look. That is not a good defensive look for them. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be how you start running this formation when you get into games. And just for the record, if you come, if someone starts running goal line defense on you, just run a toss to the normal side. It's going to get you yards every single time. <laughs> Good people won't do that probably, but just as a heads up. So you're going to want to come in 
hot with HP toss to start games, and when they start adjusting to that, giving up, like spreading their lines, spreading their linebackers, all that, then you're going to want to come into fullback dive strong. So basically, if you come out in HP toss and they're giving up the middle, you want to audible to power O. Um, if you come out in fullback dive strong and they're giving up the outside, you're going to want to audible to HP power O because power O can go inside or outside. But this run is crazy, guys. Uh, I'm just going to run this a couple times. Even against pinched lines and linebackers, you're still going to get solid yards every single time because you'll notice that not a single defender during any play that I run while I run this fullback dive is going to block shed. Not a single one. This happens in Mutt, too. Um, if someone's usering with a 99, which 99s aren't out yet, but I'm sure there will be, then maybe. But um, I'll try to get a couple examples here of looks where they are completely stuffing the middle and we still get yards. Um, even then the linebacker swoops in and we still get three. Um, basically the way to stop this fullback dive is to have a spread look with a um, linebacker manned up on him, but that's not a look you're going to get often. Here's a scenario where fullback dive is fine, but we could probably get more from power O. So we'll just go take our four yards. Um, Fullback dive is a great complement, especially um, with that HB toss as our core run. As you can see, that's probably the best case scenario for the defense. We're still getting three yards. Um, and something I wanted to mention in the beginning that I didn't mention is that the reason we can afford to put a halfback at fullback is because when you run HB toss, the blocking stats don't matter. It's all about the speed of the player because every single time you get a block from the fullback on HB toss, it's either going to be like a quick push or a chop at the knees. So like the quicker you get out there the better, but you can see I'm just getting solid consistent yardage running this fullback dive. Um, here I'll even run it against goal line. You see no block sheds, uh, which is the most important part. Obviously I'd want to run something else against goal line, but that was just an example. Um, so yeah, five yards for doing nothing right there. So that is pretty freaking good. Sure, you guys get the point by now. Um, so I'll just address a couple more things here. Um, you can set custom audibles for this formation, but if you set too many run audibles, it's going to change the icon of your running back when you run the ball. So anyone who's smart and knows that is going to be able to just run commit whenever they see that. Um, but the nice part about this formation is, yes, we're running every play, but your opponent can't really afford to run commit because our core run is HB toss. Um, so if they run commit straight down, they're just going to give up a touchdown. <laughs> um, so they can't really afford to run commit. Um, and if they choose to run commit to one side, then it's just a coin flip. Um, and if they guess wrong, they're giving up a touchdown. So... Any good player is going to realize they cannot really afford to run commit against this offensive look, and thus we are able to run the ball with extreme efficiency. Um, I've killed entire halves running this. <laughs> um, that may sound douchey, but you play to win the game. Um, we probably just run to the right here, but they switched it up on us, so we'll flip it. No big deal. Um, that's something you might encounter online. If they can get the inside on you, then they'll get that animation where they can press the X button or A on Xbox and kind of get a suction tackle. Doesn't happen too often, though. Um, what else was I going to say? Just crossed my mind and I forgot. Like here, they go at the inside. We just take power O. Probably could have gotten more if we bounced it outside. Be careful about bouncing power out. Power O outside, though, because tend to sweep in on you from the outside when you can't even really see them. But as you can see, we're not uh, we're not trying to score a touchdown every play with this formation, but this is the most consistent run scheme that I've found. Um, just the way it's set up. Um, if you're playing Mutt as well, what I like to do is put a quarterback in um, because with your pass plays, you can see um, with these two audibles, if they run commit, you're just going to be able to hit the outside receiver for a touchdown. Um, every time uh, but in mutt if you want to run PA counter shot I like putting in a left-handed quarterback spider two wide banana right-handed quarterback I'm sure you guys can see what's gonna happen here we're just gonna put the tight end who's actually playing left tackle on a slant 
and we're gonna roll out and see who's open if no one's open we're just gonna run ourselves this actually is really effective as well to have a quarterback to, that can run out of this look because if they start running like cover zero blitzes and stuff um, you can actually just duck out the opposite way and uh, just take off with the quarterback for like 30 yards um, not something I do often but it is a thing PA counter shot same thing just put square on a slant going the opposite way block the running back here's an example where I was talking about where you can just take off with the quarterback because they're obviously not expecting you to pass out of this we get a 30 yard touchdown um, anything else I wanted to say I did want to show you one play action play that if you want to stay in this formation but you feel like you need to pass um, PA cross is really good there's no way to access this play unless you call it from the playbook but that's what it looks like the circle routes gonna get oh gonna burn man coverage so hard and uh, it's gonna burn bump man even harder um, the X route you guys know from last year is gonna be man and zone so just a nice little pass um, that was crazy <laughs> you guys see that Jesus uh, Just a nice little pass play to mix in you probably won't need to mix in many pass plays uh, I'm not sure why he threw off his back foot there but you can see he's wide open um, probably won't need to mix in many pass plays like I said but this one's pretty good you can even face catch that route against zones like I just did there so again here we just take off with the quarterback easiest touchdown of our life that's gonna happen a lot if you see an opening for us to so keep an eye out for that so the main core of this scheme let's go back and do a little recap here um, you're gonna wanna start by calling HB toss and then audible to power O if you see the inside they're giving up the inside and then after a while you wanna if they're spreading everybody you wanna switch to fullback dive strong start hitting them up the gut um, HB ISO I call if they are in a defense it's taking away the outside and then they're using the fullback dive HB ISO will, in that scenario give you about 10 yards because then you're just gonna get a block on the guy they're using and the middle of the fields open anyways that is the core of the scheme. The reason this works so well is the funkiness of the formation as well as HB Toss is an insane run this year. Um, you can also flip all this stuff like from the playbook and have it look different. Like this looks super weird to someone. Like the entire right side of the field is open. Like if you start a game and that look, it's going to be pretty confusing for someone who's never seen it before. Um, so yeah, that's the core of the scheme, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel for more Madden 16 tips. Gonna have free book, free ebooks on my channel. The offensive one is already out. Um, so thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe. And go run the ball like crazy. Later, guys.